This is Dolan ETV, ladies and gentlemen. You might recognize the couch. You might know from the community tab where I am up here in Cold Lake. That would explain the absence the past few days as I packed and, of course, drove up yesterday and got underway with all the fun wedding activities going on this weekend. Well, ladies and gentlemen, also, you know I was out fishing because you can't come up to Cold Lake in the middle of July and not get some fishing in, especially when the NHL playoffs are due to start in just under or just over a week yeah i'm starting to lose track of time already but we'll uh we'll make do with what we can right away here so a couple of house notes that we have to make note of and then i'm gonna let you head out because quite honestly the wi-fi is as hit and miss up here as it possibly can be and we'll we'll deal with it i'm not going to complain about at least having some wi-fi to use and get you a video so leon dry settle heart finalist in there with mckinnon and panarin so all of us that have been arguing about this for weeks on end, we can put it to rest. It's going to be one of those three guys. End of the day, best man wins, but it should and needs to be Leon Dreisaitl, no doubt about that. We've discussed that enough of a million times that we don't have to go over it a 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th time kind of deal. Now, secondarily to that, Philip Broberg has been told he will enter the bubble and be part of the Edmonton Oilers roster for the 2020 NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. At least the playing qualifiers, however you want to look at that. He will be there for sure. And of course, he'll be there through the duration. It just matters what ends up happening the rest of the way home. So that's kind of the situation, right? It's those are the two biggest news items. I don't think I'm missing anything else other than the Saturday scrimmage, which I will be missing because, well, you know what? It is wedding time. And the guy's got to get dressed up in the shirt and stuff and get out to the wedding setup. The broadcast software that I use for YouTube, i got to set that up to broadcast a wedding this weekend. So that's going to be fun. And that's literally uh, about it for me. I just want to make sure I got something out for you on that. Make sure you don't think I'm missing everything while I'm up here. I'm still paying attention. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you hopefully soon with another update. I am up on Oda here.